Okay, so here's a question asked on Piazza. So I think uh, it's uh, good to uh, just uh, give a full uh, narration of how to solve this question. Uh, the general question is how do you solve um, multiple integrals? So we need to, uh, let's look at the question first. Uh, we want to evaluate this, right? So we want to evaluate this triple integral um, over a volume, a domain that is a volume. Um, so it's not just a one dimensional interval, not a two dimension region, but a three dimension bulk solid volume. Uh, that's wh what we want to integrate all the, uh, go through all the x, y, z's of that volume. Um, and uh, over V, right? So V is a solid, right? Formed by uh, the upper na nappy, na na nappe, <laughs> I have no idea, um, uh, of uh, z larger than zero of the cone of that and uh, the, the respective planes there. Now, um, the question was, how do I know, uh, how would you know what to put in the limits of integration over here? And can you do that without sketching or knowing how does these surfaces, these three dimensional, these 3D surfaces look like? The answer is no, you have to set, sketch this out. So that's the first part. Um, I, you, you probably can do it without sketching. Uh, I'm not very good at that. It, it requires much more brain power. Um, uh, it, it, um, yeah, uh, you, you can you can try. I, I don't know a good recipe um, to do that. Uh, so let me know if anyone um, have a good way of thinking about it. Uh, sometimes you can, but uh, especially if they're giving you some of the information like this. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, it's in general, if you're not given, um, in fact, it's just given a little bit more. <laughs> but in general, if they're not giving you any information, the best way is uh, learn how to sketch this. And I'll show you how to sketch it through cross sections. So cross sections is your friend. Okay, so learn how to sketch with cross sections. Um, it works up to a degree. Uh, if it's a really complicated surface, of course it still doesn't work. Uh, but um, for most of the questions you'll get are have some sort of symmetry. If it's either a sphere, a cone, uh, worst case scenario, an ellipse. Um, uh, or just plain straight lines and planes, um, flat planes and that. Uh, okay, so this was a question actually from problem sheet uh, for question three, in case uh, for your own reference, you can look up um, other uh, further so proper solutions there. Okay, so um, yeah, we want to uh, integrate through uh, these regions. So let's uh, highlight what we need to sketch. Okay, so we'll start with drawing the 3D graph like this. Um, and we have a cone. Um, a priori, I don't know uh, anything about the cone, right? So, so you might think, okay, it's a, it's a cone like this maybe. Um, and um, what do we know? So let's sketch, let's sketch it. Always, this is a tip in an exam, always do the easy part first, right? So sketch the plane y equals to zero. Where, where is y equals to zero? Well, y equals to zero is this part, right? So that's uh, everything here, right? It's the plane of, it's basically the xz plane, right? So this is the xz plane. Right? That's the y equals to zero plane. Um, and z equals to one, right? z equals to one, that's here, right? So uh, that's the xy plane, but uh, centered on here. That's the, hopefully that makes some sort of sense. Um, uh, yeah, so this is the z equals to one plane. Um, just to be consistent, that's the y equals to zero plane. Uh, and um, what do we want? We want y larger than zero, right? So we want everything to the right of this side and formed by um, z larger than zero. Okay, so also everything above here, this is z equals to zero, literally, literally on the uh, x y plane. That's x y plane. So x z plane. That. Okay. So we kind of have. Uh, we kind of can see it's to the right of this vertical plane, and we want it between here. But furthermore, the hardest part we need to get this right. Okay. So how do I find the cross section? Um, let's think about if what you want is you want to make different each of these three variables 
a constant. So either the tip is, right? So the tip for sketching is sketching in 3D, uh, set each variable of x, y, z. Uh, first, try to set it as zero. And secondly, try to set it as a constant, right? So I'll show you what I mean. Um, if I set, um, let's say I set x equals to zero, what do I get? Then I get z equals to y squared. <coughs> z squared equals to y squared. So what's that? Plus or minus one. Okay, so if I have a z and y, basically I have these two lines, right? So this is z equals to y, z equals to minus y. Right? Z equals to plus y, z equals to minus y. Uh, if I set y equals to zero, um, I get the same thing. This is symmetric, right? Plus or minus x. Okay, so if on the graph it means that, um, uh, let's draw a new one uh, over here. Uh, so on the line of x equals to zero, so that's on this plane, right? On the on on the z y plane. Um, then it's plus or minus x, right? So on x equals to zero, so that's on the, this plane, uh, then z is, um, sorry, plus or minus y. So you get this situation over here. Uh, and on y equals to zero, so that's along this plane, um, you get plus or minus x, right? So you have a, this coming out this way. Let's use a different color just to illustrate this. And so on, on this plane, on this axis, oops, on this axis, you have uh, this, right? So you see it's sort of diverging out. Uh, finally, uh, let's, uh, maybe I won't draw this, but you can just visualize it. Otherwise it gets really complicated. Let's try z equals zero. Well, I get x squared plus y squared equals zero. Um, either you recognize this as a circle with zero radius, <laughs> that's just a point, um, or you recognize there's no solution other than the origin, because if you check, then you have x squared equals to minus y squared. Um, so what, what values of x and y will satisfy this? N nothing, because this is positive. Uh, this is positive. So nothing can satisfy this except, um, except both of these equals to zero. Okay, so that just means it's only that point. Uh, so that's not helpful. That's why I, mean, that's why I said uh, try to set each variable to zero and see if it gets you some helpful diagrams. Um, if it doesn't, set something to be constant, right? So if I set, set z equals to some constant, right, I get the equation to look like this now, if that's a constant, right? So x squared plus y squared equals to uh, some constant. Now that's a circle with radius uh, c, okay? So if z equals to some constant, then I will get a circle, right, on the xy plane. Um, being of radius c. And you can see that this is, this is actually z, right? So as z increases, it's basically increasing the radius of this, right? So as I get higher and higher z, I'm getting larger and larger circles. And smaller and smaller z, I get smaller and smaller circles. Uh, so you can see that it's a cone. Um, yeah, it, uh, and this little v-shaped thing works in this dimension as well. Okay. So, uh, right, all right. So let's um, erase some of these. Uh, that's the tip in sketching it. And now let's uh, actually see how we'll solve the question. Okay, so we understand um, that we need to perform this we need to calculate this integral, this triple integral with that domain, all right? So with um, all our knowledge, let's, please, let's uh, sketch this properly over here. Uh, so we have a cone like this, um, and we're only interested in y larger than zero. So this is, this is the y-axis. I want it larger than zero. So anything out uh, to the right of this plane, basically, and anything below uh, z equals to one, and uh, above uh, z equals to uh, zero. Okay, so um, if I can try to sketch this, let's say this part is z equals one. 
Okay, right. So I basically want half of the cone. I want this half of the cone. It's hard to draw in 3D. Um, yep. So right. it's this half of the cone. So y is larger than zero. And like that. Okay. All right. So this everything here, uh, I'm not gonna shade that in, um, but imagine me shading that, uh, shading that in. That's the volume of integration. Okay. All right. So that's the first part. 